So we're here we are at NASCC The Steel Conference in Charlotte, North Carolina, and sitting across from me is Mike Engelhart, a professor at the University of Texas at Austin. And Mike is being honored with the Gearhart Higher Award for Excellence in Education in recognition of his profound impact on the structural steel design and construction industries. First of all, thank you for being here. Congratulations on the award. Thank you. How did you get started on this, uh, this path in the first place, um, you know, getting into becoming an engineering professor? <laughs> So I finished my master's degree um, in civil engineering and structural engineering. Um, it was 1981 at the University of Illinois. Um, a week later, got married. But at that point, I thought, I'm done with school. Never want to get a PhD. <laughs> I'm just tired. And so I went to work for as a major oil company doing structural engineering and really enjoyed it. And it had a bit of a research flavor to the job. And then, uh, and this must have been about, I guess, 84. Uh, price of oil plummeted, a lot of big projects ended, so all of a sudden I was designing tank foundations, which I didn't enjoy that much. Uh, but because of the kind of the flavor I got research, I decided, yeah, maybe not, not a bad idea to get a PhD. And then when I uh, finished at Berkeley and, you know, had the teaching offer from University of Texas, so mm -hmm. I said, hey, let's give it a try, and just loved it. It's been just a wonderful career now for um, 34 years or so. Um, so what was it like your first day lecturing in front of a class? Back then, you can tell the difference between me and a student, right? <laughs> because I was a little younger back then. Right. But yeah, I, I was nervous um, and got through that first lecture and said, OK, that one's done, another 8,000 to go <laughs> or something. But uh, what I learned is I just love teaching. You know? mm -hmm. Of everything I've done, it's been the favorite part of the job is teaching. Sure. Then one thing that was a big part of my career was 9-11, watching the World Trade Centers collapse yeah. and start to say, you know, what do we know as structural engineers about structures and fire? And, and found not a lot, not nearly enough. Um, started a course, a graduate course on structural fire engineering, mm -hmm. which forced me to learn a lot of the basics because <laughs> it, it doesn't come natural. Really enjoyed that mm -hmm. and got very professionally active trying improvements in our codes and profession on how we design steel structures for fire. And had an opportunity to give some talks at NASCC's on structural fire engineering. Well, so so you are, I mean, it sounds like you're gonna be retiring pretty soon. Correct, yeah. Been, you know, for more than 30 years, very active on uh, mm -hmm. technical committees, COS and the like. Um, enjoyed it, big part of my life, but I'm ready to do something different. Absolutely. Well, okay, now do you have any specific plans? No, just something different. Okay. <laughs> I look forward to figuring that out. <laughs>